The CPU comes contained in an electrostatic package that doubles as an installation guide. Before reusing a processor that was removed from another system board, wipe the thermal grease from the processor with an alcohol cleaning pad. Apply the thermal grease on top of the processor with a syringe by forming four uniformly spaced dots, while each dot consists of about 0.1 milliliters of thermal grease. Align the arrow on the heatsink with the arrow on the CPU retainer. Carefully lower the heatsink onto the CPU retainer clips and press down gently until the clips are engaged and the CPU is secure. Lift the newly assembled processor heatsink module up by the heatsink to remove it from the package. You'll need a Torx T30 screwdriver. Align the triangle mark and guide pins on the processor socket with the triangle mark and mounting holes of the PHM. Carefully lower the PHM straight down into the processor socket. Fully tighten the numbered Torx T30 captive fasteners on the processor heatsink module in the install sequence shown on the heatsink label. This label instructs us to begin tightening fastener number one, then two, three, and four. Only tighten the fasteners until they stop. Do not over tighten. Attention, for proper cooling and airflow, Reinstall the air baffle before turning on the server. Note the orientation of the air baffle. Lower the air baffle tabs into the chassis notches. The air baffle should cover both of the heat sinks without touching them. Connect the RAID supercapacitor module cable to its corresponding RAID adapter cable. Before you install the top cover, ensure that all components are installed and seated correctly. Lower the top cover onto the chassis and ensure that all clips are engaged. Pivot the cover latch down. 